boy Chango Smiles coming at you with another video. This one is Best of Theo Vaughn and Chris Stefano. Ooh, I think I got it right. <laughs> I think you got his name right. Um, but anyways, this is part two. Um, the first one was great. I'm excited about this. And I'm especially excited I got his name right. <laughs> Let's check it out. I've donated my sperm, and I, I was chosen not. I don't, serious, I don't want to be notified, but like somebody, you know, you they, serious, man, bro? Yeah, and the doctors, what are you doing, bro? Bro, they, the doctors told me in there. They doing, said, look, bro? they said, you know, because I got a doctorate degree. They're like, you got a doctorate degree. They're like, so your your sperm will be. Women are going to take the sperm because the bro, level of education. So you have children out there, probably. Uh, probably, but I, I told them like I don't want to be notified. What the fuck? Yeah, I just want to give. I just want to give that glue You're out. You're a deadbeat dad. I don't want to bro. Give that glue out, bro. <laughs> no, but 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 my point is is like what you just said. It's like when you donate your sperm, like women are out there that are like you know maybe they're a lesbian couple or maybe they just don't want a man in their life, but they want to procreate. So that's kind of what they do. They they they. She looked at my profile. If if someone did pick, they have they, a picture too. They have everything. What they kind of headshot did you give them? Um, I th what, was it high school in the or what was it? No, I took a picture in the office. Dude, I would only donate a little bit of sperm to him. How much did you give him? I gave him one load, man. I gave him one Holy fucking load. load. Yeah, I shot it out. What a cheap date, dude. Dude, I put on a whole load of what he's supposed to do. Only put some of it in the whatever the fuck container. <laughs> yeah, let's carry on. I give you. Point, um, what did I get? Maybe 125, 150? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's for a doctor. Cash money, what play. Cash money, cuz. <laughs> Bro, what a whore. Cuz, I mean, fuck it. I went out to Applebee's in Times Square. I've never been in a voluntary <laughs> gay sex act, mm -hmm. but when I was a kid, I was like the runt of my friend group. Mm -hmm. I was like 10, and my friends were 13, 14. I could see and, that. And the McKenzie brothers, one time I was taking his shit. Were, were they redheaded? Uh, no, but they were twins and they had shaved heads. They were crazy Irish oh, yeah, kids from Queens. Yeah. One of them sat on my legs when I was taking a shit, and the other one jumped on my mom's sink and skull fucked me. Two pumps, and my head hit oh, off the back. God, the back, I swear to God, the back ceramic tile and knocked down one of my mom's ceramic tiles. And, and I told it I was horsing around playing ball, but really I got skull fucked by, oh, by one of these dudes. And I remember tasting oh, a little man. bit of his pre cum. And, and, oh. Yeah, it was weird, man. I took one oh, right off the uvula. And I did it. And I, and I didn't. Uh, That's a hot. Take. I didn't like it. That's no, the problem take. is I didn't like it. I did not like it. Yep. But I also didn't hate it. So that's why I'll say That's I can confidently tell off. you that I'm I'm a hundred I'm a hundred percent sure I am not gay, mm -hmm. but I am also one hundred percent sure I'm not straight. Yeah. So you tell me what that means. Well, I think there's a there's a thing called where element of surprise gay, where if somebody surprises you with a gay act, <laughs> like a Pearl Harbor gay. Yeah, like Pearl Harbor, but yeah, suddenly you're just resting and then a bunch of wieners fall on you out. Uh, we had a question that came in, in the last hour for Chris, so I haven't even heard it. Okay, let's fire let's that play. one in. Hey, Theo. Hey, Chris. This is Landon from Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, I was calling in about a question for Chris. But uh, first, I just wanted to start by saying that I seen Theo on your little show there, Chris, and you were making fun of the Rat King's hair. You better leave it alone. You better leave him alone, all right? That guy's my son. And I just want to say that you look Dutch, and you look like an aerodynamic Dutch person at that. You sure do. All right? Have four Please noses. have a question. But uh, on another note, I just wanted to know, how old were you when you got into comedy, and uh, what, what attracted you to comedy? Thank you. First of all, wow. that kid That's one of your fans. is a fucking menace. Yeah. And needs That's to be on a leash. boy right there, yeah. dude. What do you mean? It's probably your son, dude. You've been Yo, fucking fuck spraying it. out and everywhere. Somebody needs to fucking start pumping Ritalin through that dude's air conditioner vents. He looks, needs to calm the fuck down. That kid looks just like you, Buck. No, that kid. Look at his nose, man. He's got he's got lumped the fuck up. Bro, it's what happens when you're, you know, when you don't know who your dad is, dude. Kids yeah. beat you up a lot. I like this kid, though. <laughs> Um, he's a good kid. <laughs> I, like this kid. <laughs> I liked it. This is my kind of kid. I just also want to send a quick shout out, RIP, to the neighborhood crackhead that I grew up with, which is also, see, I would where I grew up in Ridgewood, Bushwick. It used to be a place where you could get stabbed, but unfortunately now it's all like vegan yeah. cupcake stuff. But <laughs> if there was the neighborhood crackhead homeless guy who was, I mean, we thought he was going to die in 1997. He just died recently. Scotty Karate mm -hmm. just passed away, Scotty and he karate. was the neighborhood guy. He used to he would sing a Billy Joel song, and then he would do whatever thing, anything you wanted him to do, he would do for a dollar. Wow. So I remember one time he backflipped into this shards of glass, knocked himself unconscious, and then we just put a dollar on his chest. Or <laughs> he would do, you know, roofing work. Mm -hmm. He would fix your anything you give him a dollar, we'd call him Scotty Karate, and he would have no shirt on and sweatpants uh, almost twelve months a year. 
Damn. So and he survived for a long time. So just want to say shout out Scotty Karate. Yeah, R.I.P. Scotty. And also, yeah, they had a guy bus and he was mentally challenged or something happened to him and he was um he used to ride a bike, a woman's bike that had like a little baby seat in the back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the baby seat was always empty, you know. Right. And he said he had a little husband that used to <laughs> and people were always like, Damn, where's your little husband at? And so he would always just tell us he had a little bit of, of a he had like a little husband that used to he was looking for him or something and yeah, I don't know what happened to that guy. Or just seen? start looking for kids that look like you and fucking. <laughs> where do they mail the sperm to? What? Give me a little bit more on the sperm before you go off on this guy's question. I that shot wasn't even any good. You know, I just whatever. I, you know, I splooshed into the tube. And uh, what is it like in there? They got a tube. Do you got different tubes? You have two there? options, man. You could either get um, your prostate pushed on, like a nurse will come in and professionally do it, and you just splooge it out. It's just like you're lying. I swear to God, like it. it it's like a technique that these these nurses are just good at. Damn. Just get the splooge out if you That's don't want to masturbate, arts, bro. If I've ever heard a dude, somebody pushing and what yeah. you got an ass like yeah. a button in your ass yep yeah. oh. and then the other one is they got um th- you go into this room and they got um they got uh uh like nudie mags and all that and then they give you the wi-fi oh my and my God. place had the wi-fi and you could uh you know um jerk Look off on your phone yeah yeah what no problem the fuck how yeah. ha- is it like a house or is it a doctor it was office? a doctor's office so it's like house. just a, you know <laughs> you know secure I'm not coming in a place like that i would come at somebody's house if it were like a d de- you know like yeah if you have your own room or something yeah. i'm not gonna just in a doctor's, doctor's office, office. and what you just let him walk out of the room <laughs> yeah with it? i just came like it's if he peeing in a cup man i just came with my glue <laughs> yeah that's so bizarre though doesn't that feel crazy to it you felt know? wild it felt- i love how amused theo is with this <laughs> he looks like he's getting a, a kick out of this so <laughs> well the reason why it all started is because when i got uh, my, my kid's mom got pregnant. You know, she had taken like a plan B after it and I had gotten oh, another yeah. girl pregnant like four years before that. So it was like this and she was on birth control. So it was like some weird shit and the doctor, the OBGYN was like, you know, you should get your sperm checked. Like that, that that's that's abnormal. So I went and got my sperm checked and I, and I donated it mm-hmm. and so they had it and then when I donated it, they called me into the office like three days later. And then we say good bat. They had a good bat. Well, they said to me like there was three doctors that came in and they said, "Listen, the fr- they opened up. They said, where were you born?'" And I said, "Queens, St. John's Hospital, Queens, New York." They said, "Are you sure?" I said, "One hundred percent." And they're like, "Well, like you verify it. Can you verify it with your mom or dad?" And I said, "Yeah." And I why called, they thought you were somebody else? Well, I called my mom and I was like, "Where was I born?" And she said, "St. John's Hospital, Queens, New York." And I said, "Are you sure you're not lying to me? Like I wasn't adopted?" She's like, "No, you were. I swear to God, you weren't adopted." So I said, what's going on? I started to get nervous. And he said, well, I have three times the amount of sperm in every load. I mean, he was, you know, he was, I, I forgot what technical what term he is. What a creep. Who is yeah. the guy? No, he's a guy? Say his name. He's a guy. He was a guy. He was a t- Chris <laughs> Hansen. <laughs> yeah. And so, so, so he told me I have three times the amount of sperm. Oh. He said, so he asked me if I was born in um, How did Chernobyl. they notice by how much it weighs? Like, can they just. Well, there's a microscope, but they, at, they said the only oh, time they've microscope. ever seen that like abnormality and mutation of the sperm is is a child who's been born near a nuclear reactor no so they way. thought maybe i was born in russia near chernobyl i'll tell you this dude if i'm gay bro i would be shocked see if i'm gay i'd be if i'm gay i'd be relieved yeah that's I, the thing with me it's because i can't even really take a good look mm-hmm. because my father's still alive so my fa- i got an old school father oh wow. 75 year old brooklyn you know tony balls is his nickname so i can't even look inside to see if there's a little gay in there because it feels like there's a little gay in there yeah, like yeah. Wh- like i'm plant-based i'm on a plant-based diet right now and you're That's built like a strong gay, gay. you're built like a strong and gay. i'm a strong gay and people tell me you know i'm a power i'm a i'm a power bottom um i got a big fat ass um Damn, i love whitney houston my favorite movie is little women or pretty woman um <laughs> You know, I fucking jerk off to guys. Like, all those things are... Yeah, all those. I think it's okay if people know your fears. Yeah. Because that's something they can really relate to. Right. But some behaviors yeah. make people really sketchy. You yeah, know? man. Like, you know, th- and, and, and... Like, I met a girl one time. Sorry to interrupt you, but she had... I don't want to forget this, and I will forget. She had, you know, and we dated for a while, and she would wear the same panties, right? Mm-hmm. And sometimes she would wear them backwards. Wow. And one time they had like a little kind of duty kind of touch on the uh, front. Did she have fumes? I, I don't know what that is, but Fume, like you know, did the did the vag smell? And oh, I don't know. Like about, I don't fumes? remember about that, all that. That's a big thing if a girl has fumes or not. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, she. This girl just had switched her underwear around. You know. Yeah, but you, but that but that may give off some fumes. 
Yeah. Well, as <laughs> the, when I see them switch, yeah. I'm out, bro. You're out. You were just yeah. out immediately. I'm not, yeah. yeah. I'm not some guy who's letting a Yo, girl. You're fucked up, dude. First of all, that is straight up how they make pink eye. Okay. Right. That dude, is I, where it's made. I had when, pink eye the other day. It was fucking wild. I, did I had you? a big ass sty in my eye. Yeah, it was from oh. farting on my phone. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That shit bro. was wet, right? I feel, Yo, my fans what? call me Chrissy Well Farts. Do they <laughs> yeah. really? Because my shit sound like they're in a well underwater ass crack, yeah. I got a deep, <laughs> deep, deep asshole, man. That's Do what it is. Really? Yeah. No. I had to get a colonoscopy. Oh wow. Yeah, the doctor because he I was telling him like I, I played some audio on my farts and I sent him pick some pictures of my shits in the office and he was like, We need to take a look. And when they went in there, he said, Dude, I, was, take a look. He said I was it? all good. So, Jerry Nasser? Was it that fucking gymnastics? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the moms and dads of the children I was treating were young people that were watching Guy Code and Girl Code. And the principal of the school I was working at was like, look, we found out you're doing comedy. You're doing these TV shows. And they're like, it's not. you can't be treating handicapped children and also doing a show about the Guy Code to hiding your boner. So you're going to have to choose. Mm. And so it was really this little kid, my little man, Aaron, great kid. He was in a wheelchair, had cerebral palsy. So cognitively, he was fine. No problems with speech or his mind worked like our minds, but his legs didn't work from cerebral palsy. So he was sitting in his wheelchair one day. We were throwing the ball at him. You know, he would throw it at me. I would, you know, rifle it off his legs. He couldn't feel it anyway. So I would just rifle it <laughs> off, you know, yeah. light him with, you know, burn him with cigarettes, Cut whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, he couldn't feel shit. I would tell him to close his eyes. I would just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, light his pants no, on yeah. fire, <laughs> joke around. Have, no. a, have a pet bat bite him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I want to have children, I can get girls pregnant instantly. You know, it's going to happen. Wow. Because it's so, uh, a very high chance. So you're kind of, yeah, you should do Tour India or something. Dude. Yeah, dude. Like you could freaking definitely. Start banging out, right? Or just, I mean, for a hundred, you might as well go door to door and at least know what's going on and get some of the joy out of it. Yeah. Instead of throwing a whole batch to some dude for $125. 150 I just can't believe you don't think more and it of got yourself taxed. than that. Yeah. And it got taxed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's like, in New York, that's like, dude, you're looking at 35 you're looking at 90 bucks. Yeah, bro, I didn't get shit. And did you just drive over there? I dro- uh, no, I took the train. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God, it was in Midtown bro. Manhattan. Yeah. Where was this? All- that's Okay, so that's not really good money, but if you do a load a day, <laughs> it's like $500 a week if you do it five days a week. It's a good little side game. You get to watch porn and shit. <laughs> Fucking five hundred dollar a week side gig. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'd become a doctor for the wrong reasons. I, I won't be surprised if someone out there out there doing that shit. <laughs> the doctor just so they can get fucking more money with their loads. <laughs> yeah. Let's carry on. Auschwitz, who the fuck takes a train to fucking jerk off somewhere for 90 bucks? Yo, man, Louis C.K. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. He does it on the train. Yeah. What if if what if his closer, Louis C.K.'s closer, when he does another special? Yeah. He's just like, hey, I uh, just want to let everybody know in here that I'm about to jerk off, right? And you can stay if you want, right? <laughs> yeah. And then the lights just go off, I would and he's just on the stage. I would love it. I would love it, man. That'd be dope. That'd be tackling the shit head on. And it's called You Can Stay If You Want. You Can Stay If You Want. That's what the special's called. Yeah. Would you watch it? I would 100% watch it. 100%. Would you watch it? I like Louis C.K.'s comedy. Yeah, yeah well, dude, he's yeah. one of the greatest of all time. Would yeah. you watch it in a uh, one of those interactive theaters, like 4D? 100% with those Oculus virtual reality goggles <laughs> yeah, yeah. and just get fucking splooged on? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not part of oh, it, Oh, my dude. bad. It's just you would like be able to hear it better. You're my fault, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> you so, yeah. looking to nibble on some shit. My so feet are weird. disgusting. They grow over each other i could easily see that it's disgusting <laughs> yeah you almost what? you look like somebody who would have webbed feet almost i don't have webbed feet but i believe <laughs> i was born with broken feet and they never fixed it yes yeah, sure. i just I, my feet are broken <laughs> take care of yourself dude okay that's what i'm saying you look like a guy that definitely was in the band in the school band even though he wasn't really in it yeah you look like you're on like the marching thing with the flag <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah dude you look like my my third grade gym teacher mrs klein oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah she was like this lesbian we used to call her Liu Kang, you kind of look like Liu Kang from Street Fighter <laughs> if he was a white dude and had money. 
<laughs> Thanks, Luke man. Came yeah, from yeah. Like, you, yeah. The blue eyes, the blue eyes are a get out of jail free card. Yeah. Dude. Well, I think women feel like I can protect them because I'm a bigger dude and whatever. Yeah. But I feel like you know, I, I notice like the the pattern. It's like the first month, women are really into me, and then it slowly starts to be like, oh, this guy wasn't what I thought he was. Oh wow. You know so. But it's all good. Do you really notice that pattern? I notice that pattern. Like, girls are usually in. They're really in the first few weeks, and then they're really out. You know, <laughs> after that. Like, because, you know, I, you know, biting my nails, eating my boogers, you know, like, uh, doing mm. shit like, you mm. know, like, you know, being too open with them. Like, hey, I slept in the bed with my mom until I was 15. You know, um, yeah. be, having anxiety, being scared of the dark, not being able to fix shit. You know, <laughs> having one titty, like, Jesus. way bigger than the other. Um, you know, shit God. like that, you know? Yeah. Farting, yeah. you know, like that's the real me, you know? I'll bite my toenails. Yeah, don't be <laughs> so, don't be the real you, dude, for other people. <laughs> yeah. You know, save I, the real you for you. Yeah, yeah. I, the good the good thing Hold about my hands this. While, while All right. I don't think I'm, I haven't held a guy's hands like this. Hold on, bro. Don't no, touch come on, the top man. of my hand with you your other You got those fingers, phone. bro. Huh? You got those fucking perfect ass fingers. They're not perfect, dude. I very very like kind of the hands of the, the you could barely fucking shit. choke somebody. Have somebody else just come and help you. People who get extremely famous, it because like that's a mental health issue. Yeah, like being a, a big celebrity is a mental health issue yeah. that people like. It's almost like quarterbacks, you know, got to take the, the those tests. You know, NFL, you know, NBA rookie camps, they have to go mandatory two week training, mandatory about how their life's going to change. That should be with celebrities. You become an A-lister. Yeah. Deadline says you're an A-lister, a variety, whatever. You got to take a fucking take course. Take the fucking course, You got to take dude. a course, bro. The yeah. wonder lick. The wonder lick. Sorry. Yeah, I was about to say the wonder yeah. lust because I'm a fucking dumb piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're an okay guy. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, well, let me watch the special. You think I look thinner see. or what do you think? Or I still look fat? Well, the jacket definitely looks like uh, <laughs> something that a trans worker wears. <laughs> yeah. Or somebody that wor operates transit, you know. Tri oh, tri okay, yeah. A bus driver I it was wears. like a transgender jacket. Oh, no. It's definitely <laughs> like a sexy bus driver. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Something, that a, something that a bus driver got yeah. their wife or, or husband. That's yeah. by rate. That's by you know yeah crotch 100 percent. yeah yeah man I, I fucking i just fake leather too <laughs> yeah yeah man, you got that rare body type i got it i'm built like a kind of stoke wagon yeah you bro know? <laughs> yeah i got I'm, so i got that rare i'm a letdown for women man I feel, are you yeah because when i take my shirt off it's a mess but you go to the gym all the time i do but i just you know what i mean i just got flubber so there's nothing i could do you know i told you i told you the guy told me i had leading man face best friend body <laughs> really you know some casting director said you got leading man face best friend body that's a fucked up thing to say, but it was hilarious. Yeah, it, I tweeted it. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got those blue eyes, though, dude. You only you look like a handsome guy who kind of got, uh, like, yeah, like when he like some elevator doors kind of smashed, smashed him on him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah, right yeah. I want to start FaceTiming you more too. When you pee, is what? it clear or is it darker? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you this, bro. I bet it's a lot clearer than some of the patches you've had, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is for sure, dude. Yeah, man. But, I, but I've been, but I'm, I'm just waiting for these last <laughs> STD results. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to be celibate, man. I'm going to try to take two months off. No pussy. I'm not saying I won't fuck guys, but definitely no girls. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you're only banging guys because you're taking a break from women, that's not gay, bro. You have to actually be a gay man, man. So. I know. I feel like guys can't go back. You can't be a bisexual guy. You can be a bisexual girl, but guys, I feel like once you uh, hook up with a guy, you're gay. And he even texted me the day I didn't text him back, but the sh when he um, yeah, you don't text people back. You make people feel bad, man. <laughs> I, I, I had two texts out to you. <laughs> Can't wait to see you play, boy. I'm in L. A. Miss you, love you, and you just wrote back. I'll be at the studio in 15 minutes. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. I was running late for, and, and but that was that was. Uh, but I texted him three days ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. really really but late, look, man. Yeah, dude, it's obviously up, there's bro. enough of attraction between us. I don't want you getting any wrong ideas. <laughs> yeah. You know, it takes a lot of work to do that. So I'm. I'm always noticing about you, and I think it's dope. Thanks, man. But I will say that you're a faggot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, if I'm a faggot, bro, A, <laughs> no offense if anybody is a faggot, or... And, and still refers to themselves as that. That's very uh, Are we not allowed to say that word? I apologize. I didn't, I didn't mean to say, say that. I, I said it. So if you want to edit it out. Yeah, and just put quotes under mine and just refer to his. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, dude. It's so good. I don't even know why I am right Yo, now. dude, you want to piss in my hood? <laughs> no, I want to go, go take a nap. <laughs> Yo, dude. All right, bro. I'm going to fucking kiss you on the lips right now. What? <laughs> Get it on camera. No, what are we doing? Can I do it? No. Come on, man. Stop being huh? anti-gay. Just I'm go. Not. Just go. Get it. Dude, if I'm gay, I will tell dude, you, bro. Will... I'm not just being gay for no reason, what? man. I will. Yeah. Thank God. These are these are uh these are man <laughs> man on man for men. Okay, I will. <laughs> Wow. What the shit, it's dude? Too much. <laughs> wow. No it's way. It's too much, guys. Too much. Be good. No. Like, <laughs> that baby. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
I probably would have punched him in the face. No fucking way, dude. No way. No way am I letting that slide. <laughs> wow. Well, that was hilarious. That was like half hilarious, half gay as hell, dude. <laughs> Nothing against gays, but that's just not for me. Um, but it was entertaining for sure. Um, you know, later I had this, earlier I had this thought, like, comment down below, let me know if you think he's gay. I don't think that's necessary. I think I know he's gay. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could prove me wrong. Comment down below if you think he's not, but I think he's like a black belt gay. Like, <laughs> he's like a three-stripe black belt gay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I gotta say, that's a, that's a pretty good duo. I, I like the first one better, but this part two was pretty good too. And then like the whole sperm like uh, donor thing, that was entertaining. I learned something new today. I didn't know, like, I, I knew they paid money. And I knew they paid more money if you're educated. But I thought it'd be more than that, especially if you're a doctor. But like I said before, that's a good side gig. I mean, what are you really losing? <laughs> It's like you're not you're not working eight hours a day busting your ass, being stressed or driving to work from and, and to work uh, bumper to bumper traffic and all that shit. Like you're just you're just selling your load basically. Like how hard is that? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> I had a good weekend. How about you guys? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys did. Um, I pretty much stayed in. I had a lot of shit going on. So I had to stay in. But uh, yeah, you guys take care and peace out.